this tutorial starts with a song, but it's only a few seconds long. Let's get started with animation. Hi folks, we live in exciting times technology-wise. We can uh, create 3D models from real-world objects now very fast and this uh, that's what this tutorial is about. Uh, in 2019 I did a tutorial using Recap Photo which is a, uh, an app by Autodesk. I used the student version which is totally free and uh, one example, that's the example I gave in that tutorial, was to uh, take lots of photographs of, in my case, of an old telephone from the 1930s, I think, or 1940s, and um, feeding those photographs into Recap Photo, which is the app uh, which I used. Then Recap calculated uh, these photographs integrated them into basically one 3D model and which I could download. And uh, the fancy thing about it is not only that uh, so much detail is in that telephone now, you can even see the numbers in the dial quite precisely, but uh, also the texture comes with it. And what I show you today, we don't have the texturing, but we have a very good model and it goes very fast, we don't have to take lots of photographs, we just take a brief video and we're done. So what I show you now is the process using this app and many apps of the, that kind will follow, so I won't mention it here but you find it in the description. So the app asks me, could you scan the your environment here, which I did with that garbage bin, which is for, which is blue, means in Germany that it's for paper recycling. And uh, when I press the record button, the red one, the app starts to scan the environment with a LiDAR scanner and uh, reports back basically triangles, polygons, and uh, creates a 3D model of it. And once this is done, and I'll show you the process in slow motion now, uh, and now I show it in the real time, uh, the import into Maya is very simple because you can uh, export it from that app to an object file and import it into Maya by just dragging and dropping it in there. So here it is. It looks like a pretty crude model but it is basically that situation. You even can see the in the half open bin here you can see that there's something in there, paper basically. This is a window here obviously this is the major bin and uh, the rest is unknown. And interesting enough is that I was only walking in front here but the app measured already this wall of the building which is a real wall and it measured these things here. Of course it didn't see anything down there and I didn't uh, concentrate on the top of this part here so uh, it has um, holes etc and here my scanning process stopped uh, and down there as well so I have this little scenery and I could have done much more really I could have scanned the whole street if I wanted to uh, but uh, for this uh, purpose it, this was a thing of a few seconds as you've just seen so we're basically done now you have to clean up that model you see these are the triangles uh, Cleaning up is a tedious process, but uh, if you need, for example, inspiration of how to create such a bin, uh, you have it now. It's right here and you don't have to actually do much to it. You could have moved it or I could have moved it out here and um, looked at it with the app through the iPad from all sides and I would have a perfect 3D model just like the telephone I showed you at the very beginning. Okay, so that's your job to probably texture it and uh, do nice things with it. By the way, this is part of the tree which is here, I guess. Yeah. Actually, this tutorial is not finished because I want to point you to something which is a little bit 
we're sort of off record. I know that most of you need to model and animate very specific things, for example, blood cells in a vein, etc. Because your employer who gives you that job wants a blood uh, flow in a vein. But um, you can exploit these kind of scenes here in a very delicate way by just different lighting situations, by different settings for depth of field, or just by changes in perspective. And uh, that is quite amazing with these crude models, which I, I didn't modify this in any, any way. I just tried out several things. With this model of my bin coming from the real world, using the LiDAR scanner of the iPad Pro and getting it in here. I hope you like it and I wish you a very good day. Bye-bye.